Hi, this is Mike, and I want to show a, uh, a better solution to uh, animating stacking order with joysticks and sliders that does not involve using switch templates. Switch templates are very powerful if you want to have something with a whole bunch of different iterations for different positions of the uh, joystick, but for um, animating stacking order, it's a bit of an overkill of a solution. So I'm going to show you a simple way to do it. It doesn't really involve using any of the tools of joysticks and sliders, but it's a, a fun good little thing to learn um, and it'll teach you some expressions um, so this little simple head has a right and left and he's got ears on his front you have an uh, ear front right ear front left and then you have ear back right and ear back left and they are parented to their corresponding front ears so if we look at all of our um, of our rigged values that's sort of uh, what we're looking at. Uh, so, yeah, it's always good to rig the head first and then deal with the stacking order second. Um, and what I'm going to do to create the illusion of uh, stuff sliding in front of and behind, I'll also mention that these back ears, I've colored them a darker color so that you'll see when they switch. Um, so if you go into the opacity of your front ear, and hit Alt, you'll start creating an expression, and it's a pretty simple expression to write and reuse for the rest of your ear layers. So let's get started. Um, first, you want to establish a variable for your joystick. I'll call that J. J equals, um, and I'm going to find that. Don't worry about that uh, expression error. It always happens when you click out before you've completed your expression. Um, I'm going to find the position value of that head. And then I'm going to pick quick the X position of that joystick. And that gives me head test transform position 0. 0 meaning the X. 1 would be the Y. Or 2 would be the, the Z. Um, and then all I write is a conditional, a uh, very simple compact conditional, which is J, which is that uh, position. If that position is less than zero question mark I want the opacity to be zero if not I want it to be 100 and now let's solo this front ear and uh, the joystick and we'll see that it becomes visible only when the joystick is past one uh, past zero um, amongst the origin. Unfortunately this is the right ear. I want it to actually behave the opposite way so I'm going to change this great this less than to a greater than and that will give me the correct uh, correct result. So if I turn off my soloing you'll see that right ear is behaving correctly. Now I just copy and paste this expression to the opacity of my left ear, except I invert that greater than to a less than. And now we have the illusion of animated stacking order. If you want to be extra thorough, because when this is in front of his head, I do still also have the back ear visible. If you want to be extra thorough, you can go into the transparency of those ears and paste in the inverse uh, expression of their parents. Paste less than. And I've made a mistake. <laughs> Let's swap these around. And there we go, animated stacking order without delving into switch templates. Uh, it's just a little bit of simple expression code that will um, speed things up for you and uh, give you less uh, expressions and dependencies, just make your project a bit cleaner. All right, thanks.